everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion, and guess what we're going to do today? Today we're going to be talking graphics, and we're going to be looking at a new graphics card that's on the market, supposedly, and per our testing, this happens to be the fastest, the world's fastest GPU on the market to date. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about an NVIDIA graphics card. It is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX Titan. But let's go a little bit over a few things before we actually take a look at that. If you remember last March when Kepler was introduced, they had the 680. And at that time, the 680 happened to be the fastest single GPU on the market. It did outbeat the 7970 that was, that was put out by AMD back at that time. As you can see, it's uh, about nine and a half, ten inches long. Okay? So after that was introduced, we then went a little bit further and we got a dual GPU introduced, which was the 690. So now we have two Kepler GPUs, which is basically two 680s in there. We have a beautiful aluminum top, aluminum cover shield. You can you have the panes, the clear panes, so you could actually see the heat sinks. And you have a very, very nicely built fan in the center, which was built for acoustics to keep the noise in your system a little bit lower. Now, this one here is fairly long, as you can see. So let's go ahead and we'll take the 680, we'll put it in front of the 690. And as you can see, you got about an inch and a half, to two, an inch and a half to two inches there. All right. So. Now, if you had a mid-size, just say a mid-size case in most cases, no pun intended, in most cases this card would not fit in there. But if you wanted superior performance, this was probably the card to buy at the time. Now, this was also on Kepler Build. After that was introduced, of course, we had the rest of our GTX, the 600 series, introduced to us uh, with the 670 down to the 660 and then the 650. Both of them also had TI editions, the 660 and 650. It's been a while since we've seen a new graphics card from either AMD or NVIDIA. So, NVIDIA has come out with their newest based on the Kepler architecture. But here's the best thing. You've heard of their Tesla cards. Basically, their Tesla cards are for high performance computing, right? And they've basically been out of touch for us for quite a long time. I'm talking gamers. NVIDIA, what NVIDIA has done is they've taken the Kepler processor, the GPU, put it on a Tesla board made for your home computer, and basically what you're going to be getting when you buy a Titan is just about the same as a Tesla card. So, without further ado, We'll go ahead and introduce the Titan. Okay, so let's take a look at the Titan. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX Titan. Some things are going to look a little bit familiar to you. Of course, it has the nice aluminum shielding on it or cover, whatever you want to call it. But it has the nice aluminum protector on top of it. You also have the polycarbonate window so you can see the actual heat sink. This is a newly designed heat sink. You could read the review to get a little bit more about the heat sink itself. It has heat pipes come out a little bit, are extended a little bit farther than on, on a regular design. And also it has the acoustic fan. Out of the three models, meaning the GTX 680, the 690, and this one, this happens to be the most quiet. This has great acoustics on it. I barely heard it with my Eurometer, but I also did it with a decimeter, and it's in the review if you want to see the numbers on that. This happens to be the most quiet of the three, and at the time that the 690 was launched, I didn't think that anything else could beat that. What's going to be required with this card is going to be a 6-pin and an 8-pin power connector. So you're going to have to have a minimum of a 600-watt power supply. It does draw about 250 watts TDP, and its thermal threshold is going to be about 95 Celsius. 
Let's take a look at the back at the PCB. The power supply in this is going to six is a six phase plus two. The six phase is for the GPU itself, the power to the power of the, of the card itself, and then you're going to have a two phase, which is going to actually power the six six gigs of RAM that are on this card. So you got a six plus two power power supply on this. When we take a look at the front, we have two DVI ports. We have an HDMI and we also have a display port. This is PCIe 3.0 and let's talk a, a little bit more about the card itself. It has five gra graphics processing units on it, 14 streaming multiprocessors. Now this is also double precision if you want it to be. It will run in single and double precision. In single precision mode, which I suggest to use for gaming, you're going to get 2,688 CUDA cores. When you add the double precision, you're going to get an additional 896. For the, so for those of you who like to fold double precision using CUDA, that might be worth it. ROP units are 48. It has a base clock of 836 megahertz, and the boost clock is going to be 876 megahertz. This has a new GPU boost on it. You are probably familiar with GPU Boost 1. This has GPU Boost 2. This is going GPU Boost 2 is going to allow you to unlock your voltage. You can raise the voltage on it. Now it's not suggested, but you can raise the voltage. And they also adjusted the thermals, so everything is going to be based on thermals. You'll get a better overclock out of this and you should be able to adjust the voltage so you can get an even higher a higher boost. So we'll go over that in the review. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to performance tune the GeForce GTX Titan. So stay tuned for that. The total video memory as I said is 6 gigs but it's 6144 of GDDR5. It's 384 bit and the total memory bandwidth on this is going to be 288.4 gigabytes a second. That's great. 7.1 million, 7 uh, billion transistors. You got a lot of beef in here. And the best thing about this is it's the GK110. The same GK110 that you will find in the Tesla cards which are basically for high performance computing. So when I went ahead and I took this over to my over to my rig and I showed it to my PC, PCIe slot, I will tell you right now, it started screaming at me. It wanted it bad. So once I put it in, then it started really screaming and saying, Yeah, yeah. But as I played the game. I started one more time just asking one more time one more time okay but basically you get what I'm saying this is the fastest single graphics processor GPU on the market it's going to give you the best performance but of course it does come out of price price on this is going to be nine hundred and ninety nine dollars now you're probably saying to me, well, I could get a 690 for that and it has a little bit better performance. That is true, but a 690 is not going to fit in most mid-tower cases. This was specifically built to fit in mid-tower cases and even you'll start seeing some small form factor um, from iBuyPower and Origin and Falcon they're coming out with some small form factors that actually feature the Titan in them. So that's why it's this size. NVIDIA designed it. They kept, they kept, uh, they kept the, uh, I guess you could say, the system builders in mind with that because they understand that the desktop is shrinking a little bit, so this is built to fit. But in any case, for the full review, Go ahead and visit www.hitechlegion.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com front slash htlreviews. Of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
you're watching it now, why not subscribe to it? You'll get a lot of a lot of new stuff coming out. We do a lot of good great videos on products and we also do tutorials. I will see you the next time. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.